Hey, Bob WP here, and welcome to Do the Woo, the WooCommerce Builder Podcast. This show is brought to you by our new pod friend, Hostinger. For our small and large agencies out there, you'll find everything in one place by managing your website portfolios for your clients at Hostinger.com. Going to tell you more about our new pod friend, Hostinger, later in the show, but episode number 300 snuck up on me. Now, I would planned on doing a year-end show with my hosts, which was going to be a little bit later in December, and then things changed. I'm heading to New York City for State of the Word, so that kind of threw a wrench in things. But in some way, I did want to make episode 300 a little bit different. When we hit 100 here, I had three hosts and the four of us got online and basically had a little bit of a celebration. Then when episode 200 came around, I opted to share some stories from some guests. So I put together an episode we called How WooCommerce Has Impacted the Lives of Seven Builders. Now, I just didn't want to talk about myself, of course, so... Number 300 is going to give me the opportunity to talk a bit about my heroes. And they are my heroes, I'll be honest with you. And who I'm talking about are the hosts of Do The Woo. Now, where do I begin? I'm going to go back to episode number five. Yes, that's, what, 295 episodes ago. It was on May 16th, 2018. I'd been doing some prior podcasts before I kicked off Do The Woo, started it. And all during that time, it was me. I was a host and then the guest I had on. And during that time, I learned a lot. I enjoyed it, but something kind of nagged at me. And that transpired into me realizing that I wanted someone to host with me. I felt that would elevate the conversation And I didn't hesitate. So I reached out to somebody and actually that person was Brad Williams and the rest is history. Now you're probably thinking the same thing as me. Brad deserves some kind of an award for just putting up with me for this long. But I had to mention that because from the beginning I realized it couldn't be just me talking to the guests. So it grew from there. In January of 2020, I asked Jonathan Wold and Mendel Curlin to join Brad and I. So now we were at four hosts, essentially, and I was doing quite a few of the shows as well. And as I did that, over time, I started thinking I need to bring in even more voices on the hosting side. So a year after that, more hosts were added. In fact, we had 17 hosts in total as of today. Seven of those are no longer on the show, but were instrumental in the growth of Do The Woo and got us to where we are today. They were Mendel Curlin, Noel Steggs, Maya Longcar, Anna Maria Radu, Tonya Mork, Tammy Lister, and Till Cruz. Now, again, they all brought their own personalities. It was great the time I had them on the shows. I miss them. Of course, that time came when they needed to readjust the focus they were putting into things, their time. But they also know, each one of them, that the door is always open for them. And my, sometimes I think, yeah, they'll probably materialize as guests. And some of them have since then. So... I I know they're out there, and we'll we'll hope to hear their voices again soon. But right now, as you probably know, and maybe you don't really think of it as a whole, you know, the current hosts I have right now are Alba Takor, Brad Williams, Carl Alexander, Jonathan Wold, Kathy Zant, Robbie Adair, Marcus Burnett, Robert Jacoby, Ronald Gizzle and Zach Stepick. 
And they've all been on the show at varying degrees, except for Brad, who's hung in the longest. <laughs> that award, Brad, he's coming. It's coming. But having done this, what I feel like has evolved is a treasure trove of voices and personalities. When I decided to step back from hosting more and instead focus on elevating voices through a variety of hosts, and of course, as guests, I'll tell you that I think that is probably one of the best decisions I've made since I started podcasting in 2014. And here's why. With the hosts that I've been lucky enough to convince in being part of this community, I could not have asked for more. And each of their personalities shine. All of them are infused with their own sense of humor. None of them lack the gift of curiosity. And just the opposite, they all live to learn. And with their skills, we can put the most nervous guest in the seat here at the show. And what they do with that guest and how they transform them into a comfortable situation to me shows their love for people, diversity, and conversation. And with these hosts, there's nothing better in the world to have trust with the people you know. I give them very little direction, maybe some talking points for the shows, but the episode they're on, it's their episode. And I honestly believe that Each one of these hosts that I currently have and have had in the past have taken on each show with humility, passion, and a sense of fairness that you don't see that much these days. They are not into sensational stuff or drama, but instead I see that they truly thrive to elevate the voices in the community. Now, I know maybe that was a little bit sappy, but it's the truth, man. (laughs) And as a result, every day I count myself lucky. And I know that they are all heroes in the community we call WordPress and WooCommerce. Now, before we go any further here and we hear from our hosts, I'd like to just tell you a little bit more about our new pod friend, Hostinger. As a builder or an agency managing multiple sites, check out Hostinger.com. Their infrastructure brings your client's site speed, uptime, and security. Also, at your fingertips, you'll find a powerful suite of tools for security and performance, code and content management. Now add to that the ability to manage your WordPress website through WPCLI for control configuration and plugin updates. Enhanced WordPress acceleration powered by Lightspeed Enterprise, control over auto updates, free migrations, and of course, the essential staging sites. Through all of their services and features comes e commerce optimization for your clients' Woo shops. So, when you think about it, overall, everything you need to keep your client sites running smooth can be found with their agency hosting at hostinger.com. Now let's hear from the hosts about why they do the Woo and why they support the Woo Builder community. Hello, I'm Abba Takor, and I love supporting Do The Woo as a host, connecting builders and developers from all parts of the world. As a journalist and techie, it's been wonderful to help tell the stories of people who've discovered the possibilities of e-commerce. The stories really are amazing ranging from bakers and musicians who've gone on to become e-commerce specialists, to people with a passion for business who find a new calling through the potential of the platforms available and a part of their ongoing development. We've been inspired with stories of WordPress and WooCommerce solutions to help deal with product and economic changes. We've also heard how working with these softwares and learning alongside their communities can be a route for better life-work balance. Every week, 
I hear from people who've been inspired to try new solutions or to follow the example of someone we featured. Do the Woo is a very special place. And more so to work alongside Bob and the rest of the crew to help spread the word about what is a truly global Woo community. Hey everybody, Brad Williams from Web Dev Studios. And what inspires me most about the builder community is the absolute creativity that we get to see with everything out there. I love unique and interesting websites and projects and how we can use tools like WooCommerce and WordPress to build out things that maybe uh, are, are a little less traditional that you would expect. So I love seeing the creativity, different designs, checkout processes, interesting blocks, you know, and just and just use cases for WooCommerce to really help push the envelope. It's inspiring to see now just as it was 10 years ago. So definitely keep up the great work, Builder Community. Uh, and, grat- and congrats to Bob on episode number 300. It's a crazy achievement that, you know, is extremely hard to keep the consistency that Bob does day in and day out. So hats off to you, Bob. We're all better uh, knowing that you're out there helping push the envelope of WooCommerce and Builders and WordPress in general. Hey, so this is Carl. Um, this is going to be a bit off-brand. I'm, I'm usually very talkative. I'm trying to think about um, what inspires me the most about our, our community and why I, I love being a, um, a host. And I think it comes down to just I, I love helping people. I love sharing. I love that this is a community that's about sharing and helping each other out and I feel that being a host and and talking about topics that don't necessarily get covered as much or aren't necessarily as sexy is just my way of, of shining a light and helping out other people that are might be struggling or might want to know more about these topics. And I think that's what really inspires me is that it's a vehicle to do that. My name is Jonathan, and I give my time to do the Woo because I, I really love the WooCommerce ecosystem. I think it's a good example of an ecosystem. Um, I, it's been awesome seeing it grow. I love the impact that it has on WordPress more broadly. Uh, it has this great focus on helping people, like merchants, solve problems, create value. I love it. I also just love hearing stories from the builder community and seeing the impact that sharing those stories can have. I love hearing about people who have made new connections because of Do The Woo. They gain context and perspective they didn't have before. I think it's fantastic. It's really rewarding. And yeah, I've enjoyed uh, all the episodes that, that we've done and what we look forward to doing. And really though, at the end of the day, I just uh, really like Bob. Bob's fantastic. I do almost anything he asks me to do. Hey, it's Kathy Zant from Cadence WP. I am so excited to be a part of Woo Visions and Do the Woo. I have gotten to speak to so many amazing people who build amazing things with Woo Commerce and WordPress. And it's such a joy to be able to give back to the community and have these discussions. Finding freedom through building amazing e-commerce sites is really what this is all about. And seeing all of these new tools come to builders in this community is so exciting. So thank you for letting me be a part of this. And I'm very excited about what we're doing in the upcoming year. Hey, everyone. My name is Marcus Burnett, and I'm part of the GoDaddy events and community team and proud to be one of the co-hosts of Do The Woo. If I remember correctly, I believe my first episode was in January of this year, 2022. So I guess it's only fitting that I reminisce about becoming a host as we close in on a full year. I became a host after meeting Bob at WordFest in 2021. I had become much more involved with WooCommerce after being hired by Skyverge, a Woo plugin company, and subsequently acquired by GoDaddy, who was looking to build something big, leveraging WooCommerce. After chatting with Bob for a bit, we agreed that I might be a good fit alongside Ronald for an episode a month with someone working directly within the WooCommerce organization. For what it's worth, I'm still intimidated by how good Ronald is at podcast hosting, and I'm constantly trying to figure out how I can improve to make sure our episodes are as good as they can be. The Woo Builder community is a constant inspiration to me because that's where my roots are. Before Sky Virgin GoDaddy, I worked at a small agency, designing and building WordPress and WooCommerce sites. I know the challenges Woo Builders face, and I'm excited that I get to be part of someone's solution both through the podcast episodes and my everyday work. 
It truly is a joy for me to be able to share my knowledge and also learn right along with other Woo Builders at the same time. Congrats on 300 episodes to Bob and all the other wonderful hosts that make this podcast so great. Congratulations on 300 episodes of Do the Woo. That's an amazing accomplishment. I'm Robbie Adair from OS Training, and I'm one of the co-hosts. When Bob asked why I give my time as a co-host, I was a little taken aback because I hadn't thought of it as giving away my time, but more as an honor to be a part of the show as a co-host. It's truly one of my favorite volunteer tasks. The guests that we have on the shows are top-notch, and the production is well-organized and so streamlined that I feel a little guilty. Like, I'm not really doing work as a co-host, but rather just having great conversations with smart and experienced people for an hour at a time. I've gained so much knowledge from others out in the builder community over the years that I hope that in the episodes I'm involved in, I can pull out information from our guests to help others as a bit of a payback and a bit of a paying it forward as well. I'm also proud to be a sponsor with OS Training. We feel that contributing to the ongoing success of Do The Woo is a win for the builder community and our OS team members interested in WooCommerce and all the topics around Woo. So again, congrats, and here's to the future of Do The Woo. Wow. I can't believe it's been 300 episodes. Really amazing work, Bob. So why spend time with Do The Woo? Well, I think it's really simple. It was one of the starting points for me to learn about WooCommerce way before becoming a host. I learned so much about the entire community, from plugins to people to development. It's just a great resource where one can easily get deep into the WooCommerce community. Speaking of community, another wow. Having been a developer slash builder many a moon ago, seeing an insanely complicated open source e-commerce platform. Wow, that's a bunch of words. Uh, But seeing that grow is absolutely wonderful. The dedication and intelligence of the community keeps me coming back for more. Everyone from the SMB to the enterprise developer builder is actively participating and committing to a better e-commerce future. Now that's truly inspiration. So given the chance to participate as a host was a no-brainer. Really, to spend a few hours a month to participate in this community, for which I'm so thankful, Yeah, no-brainer, just amazing. Getting to build relationships with the other hosts and guests, well, I just feel I get a ton more out of the experience than I have to put in. At the end of the day, I feel lucky to be a part of Do The Woo. Hey, Bob, it's Ron here, one of the co-hosts on Do The Woo. And it's been a journey. It's quite a few years since I joined the team. And it's been an absolute delight to take part in every single episode I have a couple of highlights, and um, but just to go back, the first time I uh, I was interviewed by by Bob on Do the Woo was um, episode forty four. Uh, back then, I was working for a different company, and we we stayed on. We we made some well plans on. I think it was uh, iteration two of Do the Woo. We came up with various shows that included uh, a set number of co-hosts like uh, uh, Robbie and Robert Jacoby and uh, Kathy and then a few others on the way. So we had the round table and so on. But I think one of the, the coolest things that happened as a result, not maybe as a result, but it all happened simultaneously, uh, but I'm sure it, it contributes towards it, is me getting a job at Automatic. And in the time I was applying for a job, in fact, I interviewed um, – Matt Milowak, and um, I'm sure he didn't know that I was applying for a job. But it, in looking back and also hearing the stories, that probably did contribute to uh, being accepted. Because of course, if you can hold an interview with your boss, then um, I guess then you also fit within the company. And so I guess that that was a really nice part. Um, also, then starting at Automatic. Um, I realized how many folks, especially WooCommerce folks, I had interviewed over the time. Uh, Warren and uh, Paul Majorana, um, some of the uh, creative um, guys that I work with very closely at the moment, uh, and so many more. Also, uh, Ade Pajou from the marketplace. Um, oh, I can't name them all. So, yeah, I look back at Dudu being a, quite a big part uh, in my in my journey, 
And I hope to do it for many more years. We certainly have a few plans. Um, so, Bob, congratulations on your 300th episode. And long may it live on. Hey, this is Zach Stepik. And Bob asked me why I give my time as a host on Do The Woo. And honestly, it's because I like seeing the community grow. I like seeing the WooCommerce community create crazy new things. And I'm, and that's really what inspires me about the builder community that we're part of here, is seeing all of the things that all of you make and seeing you stretch the platform beyond anybody's wildest dreams. You know, when I first started with WooCommerce, it was very young and... I never imagined back then that it would be powering the size of stores that it is now. And it's just a great thing to see. So that's why I'm here. That's why I give my time. And that's what I like seeing from all of you. And now you know why I do the woo. And surprisingly, so much of what I love about my hosts and my friends came through in their own special voice. So after listening to these I'm honored and humbled. Also, I noticed there was a constant tone of, hey, it's just begun with do the woo. So let's talk about next year. Moving into 2023. Now, you've heard me drop a lot of hints on this show. If you read any of the posts, follow me on social, wherever that may be these days, you know kind of what is coming in 2023, or at least hints to it. Now, I'm not going to go through the whole process of how we find hosts here, but trust me, it's not simple. With our reach and support into the global WooCommerce and WordPress community extended into 2023, where we're really going to be putting our efforts, I know this is going to need to reflect in our hosts as well. Now, our current hosts aren't going anywhere, at least for now. They've all decided they want to continue on. And again, I feel very lucky about that. So what I'm doing is I'm looking at adding, not subtracting. As this process of choosing new hosts is in the works, and we're going to have a mix of mediums coming your way for Do The Woo. At this point, I can't really share a lot of the details because things are being worked on between now and March. But trust me, we have some exciting stuff lined up in both efforts and new hosts and guests coming to the show. And I'm just itching to tell you the details when I'm ready. So I'd like to thank our new pod friends again, Hostinger. They're embracing our values to support this community through raising voices and diversity. So do check them out, whether you're an agency, a developer, if you're even looking for hosting for your own site, check out hostinger.com. They have you covered. And as we head into the closing of the year, We've had a few unexpected breaks lately in our lineups and we'll be taking off from the regular episodes the last half of December, which means on December 13th will be our last show for this year. And of course, we'll be kicking it off hard and strong in January. I'll also be going to New York City uh, later in December as I mentioned earlier, attending the state of the word. I know it's a very small crowd, but if any of you that are listening are going to it, please, you know, let's connect. We'll kind of all be scattered around, but we'll at least be at the event itself. Also in the new year, the first thing that will be coming up is WordCamp Asia. And I'm really excited about visiting Bangkok and meeting the Asian WordPress community. There's so many people there that I've yet to meet in real life. So, man, I, I, I can't even tell you, you know, this is going to be a good one. If you're going to be attending, we do need to connect, at least say hi to each other. I'll likely be spending most of my time in the vendor area 
And I'll probably be choosing to kind of hang out at some of my pod friend booths, the ones that are sponsoring WordCamp Asia as well. Be tweeting about that. So hopefully we'll be able to find each other because I know there's a lot of both new faces and familiar faces I'd love to meet. So that's it. My hosts, my heroes, I hope you enjoyed the show. And if you ever run across any of them at a WordCamp meetup online, you know, make sure and show them a little love. So until next time, keep on doing the woo.